devils are actually flipping, destroying them via chemicals and, you know, killing the animals, slaughtering the animals and that. So they're exacerbating the famine that's coming, man. They're exacerbating the, the dirt. Okay? Hey, what does the scripture say? See, this man knows that he ain't got long. So he gonna come down with hell. And um, you, Jake, are gonna be, feel the brunt of it. Okay? Because as food becomes more scarce and scarce, ultimately the ones that suffer the most and suffer first are the poor. Because you're gonna get priced out. You see how China's buying up all the beef in America? Didn't I tell you this? Didn't I tell you that whenever there's, if whenever there's a scarcity anywhere in the world, ultimately it will affect you because it's a global market. And then you're competing with everyone in the world for food. So them US exporters, if China's paying big money for the beef, they're going to either put the price up for you or they're going to sell it to China. Yeah, that's just how it is. All right. This is Revelations 12 and 12. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. A woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, who is the devil he's talking about here? He's so Edom. So called white man, beginning with his elites and the power structures that they control, the military, the media, the government, etc. Woe to the amateurs of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. This man is going to move ruthless. He, he don't care how many people he's going to have to sacrifice. He don't care how many of his own people he's going to have to sacrifice. He's going to bring these crises in, because his thing is order out of chaos. He wants this mark of the beast, he wants this new world order, and he's going to do what he got to do. You think it was all about the sea? You think it was all about the one night?